Rockets, new coach and Rick Adelman, a new style of play. They're two fresh 24 second shot clock for the, the Los Angeles Lakers, who come off the preseason three and four, and a season ago were 42 and 40. It's seen by Turioff and a two. Season in Utah before that with Golden State, now back here in Los Angeles. Holton to Kobe. Right into Chuck Hayes. Defended on the play by Battier, a terrific defender. Here is Walton. And the shot clock at three. Turioff over Hayes. And yet the defense. And here comes Kobe Bryant. Rebound went to Turioff. And Kobe inside to Turioff. And then Fisher. And out of bounds. Comfortable with Derek Fisher. They played on the championship team together. Tommy Brown in the middle. For big money at Golden State. Now he's back at 33 years of age and a team in a lot of need of leadership. Bryant across the lane in Indiana. Kobe has started all of two. Daddy is on him. Good for him. He got away from the game a little bit. He feels refreshed and they're ready to lead this uh, Houston Rocket team. Kobe Bryant playing with a bad right wrist that he hurt in preseason. Over well, they're going to get a lot of movement this year. They're, they're hoping uh, that Yao Ming, he's going to play Yao Ming in shorter bursts, maybe five or six minutes, and get him out and let him rest. But this is what Kobe does. You have to surround him and make him get that basketball up. He's so good at getting to the open area, and then he's deadly with that little pull-up jump shot. To meet him. Kobe Bryant, a three over Battier. And look at the hustle. Of Rebound by Kobe. Lakers, as we said, 4 of 11, 2 of 12 shooting for Houston. Kobe with a lot. A lot of turnovers in the preseason, and we'll see if uh, they can cut those down as the year goes on. Over Battier, the miss by the same kind of buzz in the building that we've noticed in previous season openers, but nonetheless excited, and maybe holding their breath to see what happens with Kobe Bryant. We'll talk more about that with Craig Sick. Great burst on that baseline. Mike James is capable of coming in and really shaking the game up. He can score and get out on the break. Remember now, he came off the bench when the Detroit Pistons won the NBA championship. Little 6 nothing run by Houston. What a pass by 19-12, and they're now 4 for 19 from the floor. That's going to take a while as Bryant got bad oh! to go down. Works into Both coaches want to be able to match up. Kobe from outside. Yes. Turnover by the Houston Rockets. They now have turned it over eight times, and Kobe attacks inside, working on Battier. And for the big men was very poor uh, in the preseason. Down by 11, the Rockets have chiseled their way back to within two. Kobe Bryant over Batty. Principles, let's just jazz things up on offense. Well, what happens, though, is if you start scoring easier, sometimes uh, you get a little lax defensively because the team is to score points. Last year, they struggled to get the night. He doesn't settle into a rhythm that he can play at, so his offense does not uh, have that much better. But he is a much better defender and rebound three championships from these fans have so loved him. Screen by Brown. Kobe trying to slither. Picked up by Battier. Down court for James. Fisher there to meet him. Fisher's got that great defense. The pass to Yao. Who... And here's Walton off to Kobe Bryant. 5 of 13 with 17. A game high. The drive into two defenders, including Battier and Yao. Here comes T Mac. And outside to James. And not the bench. Mike James of Houston is put in 11. McGrady now on Walton. And Bryant with the reverse. Well, how are you going to finish the year? Final seconds. They got Battier on Kobe with the photo. Picked up by Chuck Hayes. So tough early. They do not want to dig themselves a big hole. Last year, Lakers got off to a great start. Very good point. Walton tried to throw it out. Picked up on a two-on-one now. Battier with the steal. Off to the front break. And Shane Battier. And, and, and the trust they had in him by coming in great shape to camp as Kobe goes through traffic. Well, he had a lot of off-court problems now, Ray, for Austin. I wasn't even sure he was going to be around. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why they yeah. went out to the... Up and in. He was undrafted out of Kentucky and really kind of carved his niche in the NBA D League, the, the Development League, which has been a terrific resource for all these NBA teams. Bryant over Yao. And Yao is a big man. He, it takes so much for him to move. Kobe. Lakers tonight, 42% from the field. That was a nice steal by Battier. Turioff is trailing. A foul called on. Looking on Hayes is Kobe Bryant, then crashing into the air. Now to move it out the basketball, when to make his cuts. It's a little bit of a new thing for him. 
but as the year goes on, he's going to get better and better at that. And be more effective overall in his career over Danny A. Bryant. Thing they did not get last year, they're starting to get some easy baskets, and that just picks up the level of your defense. But Brady was six in this quarter. It's a big shot there. That would have put him up 13. The Lakers right now really struggling to find a hoop. They did get that basket, by the way, to McGrady. Has to touch it. Here comes Kobe Bryant. And that's a great look. Some easy points in the paint. Getting some fast break points. And the game's starting to open up for them a little bit here as they've taken this to the game. And Kobe has come in for Walton moments ago. There's a screen by Bynum. Battier is on Kobe. Game of 23 tonight shooting. A two over Battier. Rebound by Bynum. Matumbo held his ground. The lead pass for James as Evans lets it. You would have to expect that. When the game was on the line tonight, Yao Ming and Tracy McGrady really came through for them. 36 for Kobe Down. and for Bryant. Relentless pressure. He's going to put that on you every single possession. And you know what? you got to give Shane Batty a lot of credit. When you play... A man of, of Rick Adelman is, is going to sit. These are the kind of players that can pull off that kind of offense. I, I don't know that they'll ever run it like Sacramento because Sacramento had those three big guys who could really pass the ball. And uh, Chris Webber and Vladi Divac and Brad Lake. Batty A to inbound and Walton right in front. It's Austin double. Walton does it again. Luke Walton has done it again with another steal. A chance to tie or take the lead. This is Fisher for a two. Oh! Houston is out of timeouts. We're tied at 92. A screen by Yao. It's Batty A for three. Oh! They're in the huddle and their body language is horrible. Here's Brian again. Oh. By Alston. No call.